Some Chinese people don't know very much about Trinidad and Tobago. So if you were to describe your country and you know, introduce it to our Chinese friends here, what three words or phrases would you use? Well, that is actually a very difficult question because there are so many different words that I can use to describe mm -hmm. uh, Trinidad and Tobago. But I would have to say that we have a vibrant culture we have a diverse population and we have a very dynamic economy. Our population, estimated at about 1.4 million, is relatively small as well mm -hmm. as our land mass. But we are a rich cultural identity um, mm -hmm. that has created many different cultural art forms that are known all over the world. For example, our world famous carnival is considered the largest and longest street party in the entire world. And I invite many of our Chinese friends today to visit us in Trinidad and Tobago to wear beautifully crafted costumes to celebrate and dance our local music in the streets of Port of Spain in Trinidad and Tobago. In terms of our diverse population, we can trace our ancestral linkages back to so many distant lands such as Africa, India, China, Europe, the Middle East. Mm -hmm. And because of that, we see the strength in our diversity and we are called the Land of Festivals. We celebrate so many of the festivals of the different people who have called Trinidad and Tobago home. We celebrate the Hindu festival of Diwali just as passionately as we celebrate Christmas and Eid al-Fitr from the Islamic calendar as well. Mm -hmm. So we do value and appreciate everyone's cultural identity and their contribution towards making up of a modern day Trinidad and Tobago. In terms of our very dynamic economy, Trinidad and Tobago is classified as a mature hydrocarbon province with over 150 years of experience in the oil and gas industry. And we also rank among the world's largest exporters of ammonia, methanol and liquefied natural gas. And because of that, because of our success in the oil and gas industry, we have been able to uh, create the requisite infrastructure needed to really make Trinidad and Tobago one of the largest industrial bases of the English-speaking Caribbean.